Well hello all my friends, it's Louie here and welcome back again. Today we're going to be talking about what kind of cotton you should be using inside of a rebuildable atomizer if you're switching from using pre-made coils inside of a tank. Some people say it can be dangerous to use non-organic cotton, but we're going to take a closer look at that. So let's get right to it. So one of the things that made me look deeply into the non-organic cotton thing is that a lot of people say you can't vape on that. It's bleached cotton. It'll really hurt you. And you know, it's something that I actually started believing for a really long time because I was, I would say, ignorant in this aspect of vaping. But I did a little bit of research on it and usually it is bleached with hydrogen peroxide and then it is triple washed in boiling water. So that leaves absolutely zero impurities left inside of. One thing that I did see is that they use pesticides to grow this cotton. Now, if that enters the lungs, that could be a very big problem. Now, I've read a lot of articles and a lot of different things on people using it and never having any sensitivity problems or any dangerous results from using non-organic cotton. I don't think I would be the kind of person that would want to use non-organic cotton inside of my rebuildable atomizer just because of pesticides. I mean, don't you live that organic life, brah? So before you run to your nearest Walmart or your nearest Target to grab non-organic cotton balls or face pads, really think about what goes into the process of making that. And like I said, whenever it's actually bathed in like boiling water after it's bleached in hydrogen peroxide, there is zero impurities. It's leaving nothing left inside that cotton, just cotton. Absolutely nothing else but cotton, cotton, cotton. Cotton. Now it can be used for a lot of other things, but I wouldn't recommend it for vaping just because of the pesticides. Go green, bro. Now I'll show you a little clip right now, just to show you what non-organic cotton balls look like. And there's really not a big difference from organic cotton, but you can see some of the particles left over in organic cotton in this clip right now that make it a big solid difference from non-organic. Look how beautiful that organic cotton is yeah and there's a lot of people that say the wicking with non-organic cotton doesn't have the best results for vaping it dries out a little bit quicker and it has more of a saturation time so it takes a little bit longer for it to saturate with your e-liquid to have a very happy vape take a smack take a drag right now bro you know you want to and here's my reason that i only use organic cotton inside my vape First thing, there's no pesticides. Second thing, it's not bleached with hydrogen peroxide. And I don't really think that's a bad thing. I'm just saying it is not bleached, but it still is triple boiled. It's organic, never had anything bad put into the process of growing it. And it's triple boiled for impurities that are out on the field just randomly or inside a warehouse. I don't really know how they grow this stuff. But yeah, that's really some good reasons. It's still triple washed, just like the non-organic cotton, but it has no pesticides and it's not bleached with hydrogen peroxide. That's why I'm gonna continue to use organic cotton. And I'll leave a link in the description below for the Vapor Hut LLC so you can get some of this awesome organic cotton from any brand that you might like. Check it out, bro. Check it out. Look in the description, dude. Look down there, click it. Oh, one thing, while you're down there and you're looking down there, hit that like button, especially if you like this video. If you didn't, you can thumbs down it too. I'll take it, uh, it still helps me out. I think I've told you that before. Uh, so if you're gonna thumbs down, you might as well just thumbs up because they're both helping me out anyways. So now that you know almost all that information about cotton, there shouldn't be any more fear about it in case you were caught up and you didn't have any organic, you might be able to pull through and use some non-organic if you just can't get a nice face pad of organic cotton for yourself to rebuild. Let's take a drag. 
You know what? You should take a drag with me, bro. Bro. I think I hit the lens. Ah, uh, it's probably out of focus now. Everywhere around me, the camera completely is not focused on me, and it just takes care of the vape's focus, which, ugh. Yeah, so, uh, that's pretty much it for this video, my friends. If you like this video, please smash that like button. If you want to see future content, please subscribe. You know it means a lot to me. And make sure you ring the little bell so you can see when videos like this come out onto YouTube, and you can, uh, check out some of my future content. I'm out.